Good afternoon guys. What we're going to do now is show you how the Mini 3 Pro connects up to the RC Pro and how we can connect the RC Pro through to the version 2 goggles. It does work with the V1 goggles as well. I've tried that and we will now show you how it all goes together. Okay, so what we've got here is our Mini 3 Pro and as you can see she's trying to hold the gimbal. Lights are all on on the back and if we have a look on the RC Pro screen you'll see what she's looking at at the minute is the outside of the garden and if I move her around you can see there is a bit of latency and up and turn around into the house and back out into the garden at the same time as that's happening we've got the goggles on this side I'm just going to try and position it and as you can see in the goggles we have the same view and once again if I move the mini around you'll see the picture shifting around and coming back out of there there are the goggles on the table there is the Pro controller and again if we want to we can pull the two levers together and we will get a prop start first off there we go so we have the drone actually running and as you can see it's on the controller I'm going to stop it because I don't particularly want it running in the house so just hold the two together and the drone stops running once again if I put this inside here just trying to get a comfortable position pick up the mini Oopsie. and move the mini around you can see that she's picking up everything inside and outside and once again if you can look at the screen on here you'll see it moving as I'm shifting the mini around now how do we achieve this I think that's the important thing what we've got is we have an HDMI cable coming out the bottom of the RC Pro it is currently going into this unit here which is quite important that you choose the right one this is HDMI to AV be careful because you do get AV to HDMI and that clearly doesn't work what I've then got is I have a charger there from Fleet Guard thanks guys and we have the output leads coming through all the way down and being plugged into the AV port on the side of the goggles inside the software on the goggles we set that up to AV input and so clearly what we're getting is we're getting the signal from the drone back to our RC controller through the HDMI unit and out to the goggles now there is latency because of the conversion from HDMI to AV and what I'm waiting for is a piece of equipment which I'm hoping can take the feed straight from the RC controller into the goggles and that will then be digital to digital and hopefully we have no latency at all. That's for a later video. Thanks for watching. This is how you can do it if you need to do it. Cheers for now guys.